We just got through. The British had been pretty thoroughly defeated at Concord and uh, at Lexington on April 19th, and they returned to Boston. They were able to uh, get their get their army back across. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they came in, whether they came in through land or they came in by sea, but they had gone out 18 miles and come back 18 miles to make it back and forth to Concord, and they had suffered pretty serious casualties on the way back. So as soon as the rebels or the colonists had uh, kind of shooed them back into Boston here, they were... um, surrounded um, they had water on all sides of basically boston eastern boston here this is all considered boston today but this was um yeah very little land you know not really a peninsula because you said this little bit of land connecting it to um to the rest of the mainland here but very defensible because of that um but so the British were kind of stuck here in, in April of 1775, and they only had really access to the, could only be resupplied by the ocean here, uh, Boston Harbor. They still had control of that. They, their Navy was superb. And the rebels controlled uh, Bunker Hill, Breeds Hill, and this whole region around um, you know, around the area here. And by uh, June of 17th of 1775, the the British mounted an assault. And again, they weren't, they didn't think the colonials would be able to kind of repel them, but they had, the um, colonists had fortified themselves on mainly on Breed's Hill. And, and the, uh, the battle was called Bunker Hill. But uh, most of the fighting occurred on Breed's Hill, and the British attacked, came up the hill, and a full-on assault against the colonists and um, suffered incredible losses. They lost 1,000 soldiers, 92 officers were killed. The uh, colonists were, re- the militia was uh, repelled back over Bunker Hill, and, and the British were able to uh, hold, they were able to um, take this region right here, Charleston, um, north of Boston here, and the, didn't, the, the colonists eventually regained it, but they still had all this area around the city um, where they, they controlled. And so they were, they, the British still couldn't really, they were still locked in, they really couldn't do anything. Uh, to get out of Boston, so they can only be resupplied by the uh, the, the sea. And um, over the course of that next 11 months, there were just some small skirmishes uh, after Bunker Hill. The British were really afraid of the British, I mean, of the, the colonists uh, heading them on straight on. They were outnumbered by them. Um, militias were being being sent in from all the all the uh, colonies, and you had uh, uh, you know going into the winter of 1776, uh, you know it was, it was starting to get desperate for both sides really because um, the the American the colonial army wasn't very well established, and the Boston's uh, the, the the British army in Boston there the um, there were privateers, there were pirates that were working for the uh, the colonial army, and they were raiding British uh, trading. They were raiding British supplies coming from from England, and so there wasn't a lot of resupply that was going on. Uh, there was also weather conditions. Uh, a lot of a lot of the the livestock that was being sent the thousands of miles across the ocean were lost. And so you had um, both sides getting pretty desperate coming into the winter of 1776. Washington wanted to have like an, uh, once the the uh, Charles River um, froze up and once he wanted to make an assault onto Boston uh, 
direct assault because he felt like he was going to lose his army uh, later later as it got into the winter but he was talked out of that um, he did uh, there were a couple forts we had talked about from the French and Indian War that had been taken. Fort Ticonderoga was one of them that the British had taken from the French uh, during the French and Indian War. And also Fort, uh, there was a fort at Crown Point. Uh, they were uh, taken by Benedict Arnold. And he, there was a large number of guns, about 60 tons of cannon that were larger cannon that were uh, acquired. And gentleman by the name of Henry Knox was sent out in um, November of 1775, and he, he took him about six weeks, but he got back um, January of 1776, and what they were able to, uh, the, the colonials were able to take Dorchester Heights, and they were able to put the arms, um, they were able to establish the weapons here on Dorchester Heights, and they were able to fire into Boston. And at that point, the British knew they had to get out. And so they came up with an agreement. And so in March of 1776, the, uh, the British left uh, Boston. They gave up the city of Boston and went up to uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, and they gave Boston to the uh, colonial army. So the first year of the war, was pretty successful for the colonials. They had uh, defeated the British at Concord and Lexington. Uh, they didn't necessarily win the Battle of Bunker Hill, but they had inflicted a huge amount of loss of life on the British Army. And so it was what's called a fearing victory for the British Army. And the uh, had forced the colonials, or excuse me, forced the British to leave Boston by March of 1776. And so that first year, things were going pretty well uh, for the uh, British Army. So I'm just going to have a few questions on that. And uh, that will conclude uh, that video. And thanks for watching.